Okay, so we will be doing recursion 1, count 7. Given a non-negative integer n, return the count of the occurrences of 7 as a digit. So for example, 717 or 717 yields 2, because there's two 7s in that number. Note that mod by 10 yields the rightmost digit, while divide by 10 removes the rightmost digit. This is similar to the problem from before of some digits. Okay, so when um, n equals 717, um, as I said before, there's two 7s which should just return 2. When it's 7, there's one 7, so that will return 1. And then when it's 1, 2, 3, there are no 7s, so that will return 0. So how do we do this? Well, one way to do this, as the problem statement suggests, is to continuously see if the rightmost digit is 7, add to the sum accordingly, and then continue on with the rest of the digits. So for example, when we have 7, 1, 7, we check the rightmost digit, 7. So we would add to the sum 1, and then we would add whatever the count is for the rest of the digits, digits which is 7, 1. 7, 1, the rightmost digit is 1, 1 is not 7, therefore we add only 0. And then we add the rest of whatever is left for the rest of the digits. Okay, so then when we have 7, the rightmost digit is 7, so we add 1. And when we return what is left, which would be 0. And then when it's 0, of course, when it's 0, um, we don't need to count anymore because we know that when it's zero, there's going to be no more sevens left. So that should all just be zero. Okay, so we'll implement that then. So in the base case, with n equals zero, and return zero. Else, we check um, the rightmost digit, which would be n, 1, 10. And then we would divide by 10 to get what is whatever is left after we take the rightmost digit. So it's the rightmost digit equals 7, then we return 1 plus count 7, and if it's not 7, then we return 0 plus count 7, and, and there it is.